In archaeology, there's an old saying that rock art finds you. You know, you don't find rock art, it finds you because you can walk by a sandstone structure a hundred times and then one person can walk by and see the rock art. And it, I find that to be true. There's two major types of rock art, petroglyphs and pictographs. And a pictograph is, is painted onto the rock. A petroglyph is carving into the rock. It spans thousands of years and every type of artifact you can find from projectile points to pollens and pottery. And, but the crown jewel is the rock art. The rock art is very abstract and it's very like, um, there's not a utilitarian need for it most of the time. So it's completely expression. So when you look at the rock art and then you look at the archeology span that's found, it doesn't connect necessarily to the average person. So you're gonna have very like domestic types of archeology, span but then you have warrior motifs and it's, it's kind of a weird contrast. So I think that's why rock art's fascinating. These places are powerful. I think anyone can get something out of a place like this. They can come and see, and it's, it's very educational. You can see an immediate transformation in people, especially young people, when they see something like this. Don't come here and allot yourself 10 minutes to run through Pictograph Cave, like dedicate a couple of hours of, to sit here and eat here and laugh with your family. And, Levity is important, especially to the crows, and we say that levity has the power to move things. So even in ceremonies, they'll say laugh. You should laugh, tease each other. You know, you'll leave a better person. Mm -hmm.